Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another episode here on Greeno Eats. Now today I'm out and about, I'm in Bournemouth and I have come across a place that I've never actually eaten at before so I think we're going to give it a try. If I whiz the camera around you'll be able to see what it is. There we go, slim chickens. You get a huge range of sauces to choose from. Goodness knows where I'm going to start with this. So here's what I've ordered. It's like a combo meal with three crispy wings and three chicken tenders. Regular fries, it comes with three sauces. So I've gone with Korean barbecue, Cayenne ranch and mango habanero. And a refillable soft drink. And that comes in at a total of 13 pounds and 45 pence. So like I say, this is my first time ever in a Slim Chickens. I've seen a few of them about, but I don't think they're a major chain anywhere, are they? Um, maybe they're in most of the big population centers, but I've not actually ventured into one before. First thing I would say, it looks nice and clean in here. It's quite a sort of funky looking little restaurant. They've got fairly loud music, which hopefully isn't being picked up on the mic as I'm talking over it. But uh, yeah, overall, it looks pretty nice in here. Now the price, that strikes me as a little bit steep, doesn't it? I mean, this is an eating kind of place. Um, but it is basically still fast food, isn't it? So three chicken strips, three wings, some fries, and a soft drink for 13 pound and 45 pence. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that could come in around about 10, 11 quid, couldn't it? <laughs> but still, we'll see how good it is. I'm looking forward to trying these three sauces. There were, uh, I think there were like 15 or 16 different ones I could choose from. So the ones I went for was a Korean barbecue one, a KM ranch, and a mango habanero. So there'll be a, contrast there between sort of something a little bit cooling with the ranch one and certainly the mango habanero I'm expecting to be kind of sweet and spicy so looking forward to it let's see what it looks like when the food arrives okay so my meal has arrived and I have to say it smells absolutely amazing so we've got the refillable drink over here I went for a, uh, a Dr Pepper for a change not something I have regularly down here we've got the three crispy chicken wings, you can see there, we'll take a closer look at them in a minute. Fries here in the middle. And across on this side we've got the crispy chicken tenders, which look pretty good. And there's a slice of what looks like garlic bread behind there. And then all the three sauces that I ordered in little pots to dip into. Can't wait, let's give it a try. So let's get these sauces opened up first. We've got the Korean barbecue here. The Cayenne Ranch, which I think is going to be a little bit of a cooling element. And the Mango Habanero. I do like the spice, as we know. So, we're going to give them a try, probably just with the fries first, just to get a flavour for how they are. So we'll start with the ranch. Like I say, I'm expecting that to be a fairly cool affair. Though it has got a bit of cayenne in there. Yeah, and the fries are good. Oh, they're really crispy. And that's a really creamy kind of ranch sauce. But what it does have, because of that cayenne, there is a little kick at the back end of it. Mmm. That is surprisingly good. Korean barbecue time. Just look at these fries. They're nicely seasoned on the outside and they're really crispy. Like really crispy. Not overly though, so that they're hard or anything. Mmm, that Korean barbecue sauce, it's kind of got that deep, almost umami flavour, but with a real sweetness. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, it does taste very, very Korean. I do like that kind of savoury and sweet kind of mix together. So, yeah. I think the chicken's going to go nicely in now. And now, for the one I think is going to be the fieriest of the lot, mango habanero. Now, again, this should probably have a little bit of a, uh, a sweetness here, which might take the edge off some of the spice. Mm. It starts sweet, 
and then it builds. Oh yeah, there's a nice kick there. Not a over overly fierce one. You still get that sweetness throughout the whole thing. It's kind of like a really punchy sweet chili sauce. Mm. All of those are excellent, those sauces. Really good choices, I think, there. So, we've done the fries, pretty much. <laughs> One more before I move on to anything else. I didn't realise we've got this kind of little piece of garlic bread with it. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of garlic bread in the world, but we'll give it a taste. It's really soft. You can taste it's been toasted but there's so much garlic butter in there that it's kind of almost refused to crisp up. Mm. As garlic bread goes, I don't mind that. I'd say I am not the biggest fan in the world of garlic bread. I find the garlic flavour just a bit overwhelming. But that, it's nice. It's got a good hit of garlic, but it's not so punchy it's going to knock your lights out. Okay. Chicken wing time. This feels really crisp and crunchy. Let's give it a little try by itself first without any of the sauces. Mm. Taking a look at that. Nice chicken in there. It's quite a chunky wing. That coating is so crispy. The chicken is juicy. It's a very nice combination. Let's try it with this Korean barbecue dip. I think that's going to work very nicely with this. Yeah. So the actual coating itself, you know it's very crispy. Oh, and very hot inside. <laughs> it doesn't have a strong pronounced flavour, you know like KFC does, where you get that blend of spices. There's a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of spice there, but it's mainly just about the crisp. I think what you're supposed to do here, obviously you're adding your flavour yourself, so they don't want to overly flavour it in case it clashes with any of the sauces. Mm. With that kind of sweet savouriness, From this Korean barbecue sauce. Mm. I've got to say, that chicken wing is delicious. Okay, time to move on to the chicken tenders now. And I have to say, they're a little bit smaller than I was expecting. So you can see here, they're probably about half the size, I would say, of a KFC type one. Or maybe two thirds of the size, something like that, but smaller nonetheless. So let's try this with a couple of the other dips. You're going to go in with this. This, uh, this ranch one with the cayenne. Okay, that's nice. It's like it starts out very, very mild and creamy, almost like a mayonnaise. But then, as you get through it, that cayenne spice just starts to kick in a little bit. Not a lot, but enough you know it's there. With the chicken, that works quite nicely. I think I prefer the Korean one. Let's try the tender with the Korean. Yeah. Just to my taste personally, I prefer the Korean dip to that ranch one. But let's try this with the mango and habanero. You can see that, that kind of orangey glaze it gives it. Mm. That's the one. It starts out so sweet that it almost seems wrong against the chicken. But that's literally just for a couple of seconds and then that really sharp habanero taste starts to come through. You know what? I might have to see if I can get hold of some of this. It's great. Let's give the Dr Pepper a try as well. I haven't tried that yet. I can't remember the last time I had Dr. Pepper. 
it's kind of it's a weird taste, isn't it, Dr. Pepper? It's almost familiar with something else, almost like a sort of dandelion and burdock or something. Or like a kind of Bakewell tart flavour almost. Not quite sure what it is, but you know what? It's nice. It's sweet, even though this is the zero sugar version of it. But you know what? <laughs> that is actually a really nice accompaniment to this meal. It kind of works with all the sauces I've got here too. Do you know what? So far, like I said, I thought this was possibly a little overpriced when uh, when I ordered it. But the quality of this, as I compared it with KFC earlier, the quality of this is so much better than KFC. And then when you think about it, in KFC these days, for a meal, you're looking at nine, ten pounds anyway, aren't you? Okay, so this is... 13 pound but is it three pounds worth of better quality yeah absolutely I'd say these wings I mean they're really chunky ones you compare that to a KFC hot wing it's twice the size lots more meat and lots more crunch the tenders yeah they're a little smaller than the KFC ones probably about two-thirds of the size but they're tasty they're really nicely cooked again the, the coating on them is really crunchy the big difference against somewhere like kfc mine is these fries these kfc fries are not great are they these are exceptional well this is a nice touch i was just sat here eating and the waitress in the restaurant has come over to sort of check everything is okay asked if i wanted any more sauces now i'd order three with the meal which is what it comes with but she recommended her i try this one too this is the garlic cheese dip. Sounds interesting, right? It's got the word cheese in it for a start. So, <laughs> how well that's gonna work with the chicken, I don't know. But I bet you it's gonna work well with these fries. So let's get a good little uh, amount on there. There we go. Oh, that is interesting. It's not overly garlicky. But it just that sort of seems to enhance the flavour of the cheese. You know, like when you put mustard in a cheese sauce or something like that. It just you can't really taste the mustard, but it's doing its job. And that is interesting. It's a creamy one again. They're like a sort of mayo-based one. Let's try it with one of these tenders. See how it works with the chicken. That's really good. <laughs> I think I'd prefer that to the KN Ranch as a creamy one. It's just got a little bit more intensity of flavour to it. Mm. That is good. It's not one I would have picked, personally. Even though it's got cheese in the title, I think garlicky dips are sometimes just overly garlicky but this mm, I'm liking that right guys well I'm gonna be finishing up the review now but still munching while I go because <laughs> it's just too good to stop so let's say we're in slim chickens here in Bournemouth it's in the BH2 leisure center there's lots of eateries in here you've got Nando's real Greek Ask Italian. Um, there's a five guys here. There's all sorts of different things. It's all based around a cinema little complex. Now, I say, when I saw the menu for this place, I thought it was expensive, but I thought, you know, I've not been here before. Let's give it a try. And I'm really pleased I did. It's, it's been surprisingly, surprisingly good. I mean, it is fast food after all. But I mean, look at this wing here. It's a chunky old thing. And the coating is so crispy on them. They're absolutely wonderful. The range of sauces, like I say, I ordered four, and the waitress was kind enough, to, uh, ordered three, sorry, and the waitress was kind enough to bring me a fourth one. So we had the, uh, the ranch with KN, the Korean barbecue, 
the mango and habanero. Those are the ones I chose. And then the waitress kindly brought me the cheesy garlic one. All four of those sauces stand up on their own. They are great, really, really tasty. I'd definitely be interested to try more of the sauces they've got in their range, that's for sure. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this little video about Slim Chickens, why not click a thumbs up on there for me? It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you enjoy what you've seen, why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. And that's it from me. I'm going to finish me uh, Dr. Pepper, finish me lunch, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.